I am one minute late. I was having such a good swim about that I lost track of time. Because I was walking around and I was like, oh, it's such a nice day. It's a marvelous Monday. I hope you had a marvelous Monday. But we're going to go on an adventure. Because we need to get building materials for the basement of the basement. So, let's go empty our pockets. Looks like we got to eat a snack all... Okay, well, apparently I'm supposed... I'm trying to eat bread. But we're going to edit the sign. There we go. All right, I didn't want to edit... Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, so, let's go empty our pockets. Wink. First, though, it looks a little dark. Oh, okay, so it says we can only sleep... At... Wow, our house is... But it's close to... No... Oh. Okay. So, there we go. It was decent, Shay. It was decent. Um, you know. A quiet, peaceful Monday. You know? It wasn't like all over the... Actually, you know what? We need stone because I want stone pickaxes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but it wasn't too bad, you know. So, I hope you had a good Monday. Um, let's see, we need sticks. Oh, where's our utility logs? There it is. Utility log. Okay, um, sticks. Ah, sticks. Yeah. It was just one of those Mondays where it was like, I don't know what to do, but I do know what to do. But, yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Okay, so we have extra pickaxes. Lots of extra pickaxes. We have some coal, because we have a few torches. That should be enough bread. I'm thinking. But I do want to pretty sure we could find a tree or something along the way. Still have our diamond sword. We have a decent shield. And we could make torches. Um, do we need... I don't think we need shears for anything. No. So let's put our shears back. And that way we can free up at least one little pocket space here. Okay. Um... Uh, should we take a... an Yeah, let's take an axe. And maybe a couple of shovels. I mean, that still leaves us tons of pocket space. Yeah, let's do that. And then... We can put our wood back. Um... And then put the... Uh, yeah! I know! Wrong one. There we are. We can put that iron back because we have a whole stack of iron. We're doing good. Um, let's see. Shovel. Two shovels. One axe. Oh, you know what we need, though? We should probably grab a, a spare crafting table. You know what I mean? Because we'll need that to make the tools. Okay. Okay. So are we ready to go on an adventure? I say yes. We're doing a dance to nothing. Okay. Oh, the doors are, the floor ceiling's already open. Boink. Hey, I like that little slime block. It actually launches me onto the ladder. All right, guys, you be good. Hercules the Sneezy and Bob the Dog. Now, we were looking for stuff to add to the basement of the basement, but I also wanted to go look at, hold on, well, our pig is still swimming. Yeah, he's still, he's still going strong. Oh, look, squid, octopus, I don't know what they are, squidipus? 
anyway the where are the ancient city is there is a big snowy mountain I don't have leather boots I forgot leather boots so I guess we'll just run with it um hey sheep there's some sheepies um, I kind of wanted to go like around this mountain, maybe avoid the snow because we forgot our leather shoes. But um, yeah, but we got to remember to go past the ancient city cave entrance <laughs> because that's where this mountain is. Okay. Um, still think we need a bubble vader somewhere. Yeah, that's where I kind of want to go, is up that direction. So, we went, yeah. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to be hurting for sticks. Yeah, we will be. We will be. We just have to navigate through things up and around and over and all of that. Oh. Or hit our head on absolute... Whoa. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. This is the other whole thing that we see from the other entrance. Okay, cool. You know what? That could be our... Spe oh, we're... Wait. Tree? Tree? Is there a tree? Nope. There we go. Well, that didn't help. D How do I... Okay, so I guess we gotta make stairs as we go, because you know, gotta be difficult. Up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, look, we got some vines we can climb. Let's go vine. Weak. Well, that was fun. Maybe we could do vines instead of a bubble vader. Well, no, because mobs can climb vines, I think. Yeah, I think they can. So maybe that wouldn't be such a good idea. I mean, they could also, like, go up Bubble Vaders, but they don't really have the ability to, like, jump somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, they can't jump out of it to come get you. I guess. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to make stairs as we go, guys. I got time. Just a relaxing stream. Doing a little bit of exploring, right? That's what we do. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I was like, those are some weird clouds, but those weren't clouds. That was the snow. Hmm. And I said we were going to try to avoid the snow, but I was totally wrong. What is it? Oh, it's just a big hole in the ground. I guess we can't avoid the snow. Well, maybe can we go around this way? Yeah, maybe we can. Oh, maybe not. There's even snow on the... Nope, nope. I was starting to fall down there. I'm not falling down. I like how there's a gap of what... Oh, look at the bunny. Hi. Oh. <gasps> well, what'd you do that for? Well, okay wanted to do. Now we got to remember the house is straight back, right? Because we got to do this in straight lines until we can get the stuff to make our lodestone. It's going to be the easiest way for us to not get lost short of dying. <laughs> and really, I don't want to die. We're doing pretty good on not dying, right? We're getting better because we're turning into real pros. Okay, so we're kind of avoiding the snow. Well, that's kind of a cool little area. You know? And I went right down in it, knowing there was no exit. Let's see, what's down here? Birch, oak, another mountain. Well, it's a good thing we decided to build stuff out of dirt and, you know, things. The only downfall is we don't really have a lot of other materials. 
And you know what I'm forgetting to place down? A torch path. I've got this torch in my hand to just do... Because I thought to myself in quiet while I was talking to you guys. Take a torch. Put it down. Make a path, right? Makes sense, right? Yep. Nope. Oh. I say we grab this coal. Yeah. More coal the better, right? That and it's XP. I like that thought. But yeah, I had this thought in my head while I was talking. Place a torch path, right? That way if we want to, if we find something cool, we die, we can go back, we can follow the torches. Makes sense. Oh no. No, no. Mama literally was not paying attention and we have no torch path. <laughs> but we're like pretty much straight out from the house. So we have a couple of mountains as landmarks kind of deal. So, okay. And this, we just go, let's see, we were here. Yeah, because that's where I saw the coal. Okay. There's not even really a lot of mobs out through here. I don't, while I like flowers, I really don't want them at the Guys, let's... One tree? Wait. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. We will have to explore that later. But I'm sure that that is going to be a very big source of mobs at some point. And if we have to, we can do our little, you know, cubby of safety and bury ourselves in the mountain. Right? So, we got a little bit of a flower biome here, and it's getting kind of dark, so maybe we should put down a chest. A uh, chest. A torch. Oh my gosh, not even the same thing. Just... Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Yep, I already see some friendly skellies right up there nope nope but we got that extra coal now so we're we're doing all right and we couldn't even see the sunset that's up oh, i just saw just saw one spawn so let's keep on moving nope we got to go up there we go let's get up right here and oh well We'll just run really fast. Because <laughs> there's a lot of them. Oh, well, I, yeah. Oh, there's a creeper. I just lost an extra torch. Yeah, this is kind of like a flower biome. Oh, yeah. Look at all of them. I mean, that's a lot, you know. And I don't think that we're running straight anymore. Huh. But we do want to avoid the snow, so... Let's see. Go up. Yeah, so if we need any dyes, we can just run straight and then follow the torches. You know? So, what is... Oh. What? Let's go straight this way. <gasps> or... Yeah, we're going to go straight this way, but try to avoid those uh, whatever zombies guys pushing us down into that giant hole. Wow. That. Yeah. No. Yes, but no. And we're going to have to do something here soon. Make sure there's no mobs around. Boy, we're getting into some thick, thick trees here. But we're going to need to eat a snack soon. Aren't we? Oh. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Can we get in here real quick? Maybe. Oh, come on.
Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Had to really concentrate on how to fix those blocks. <laughs> okay. We did it again. Somehow we ended up in somewhere without torches and without things. Oh, but while we wait, I guess we could make a few torches and talk about things. I don't... Oh, man. Nope, that's a lever. I almost made... A... We can't light things up with levers. Oh, let's see. oh that's one stack. Yeah, we should be alright for torches. But we do... Can we? Yeah, we do need kind of like a little window or something to, you know, so we can see. Oh, okay, the stars are moving pretty good. The stars are moving pretty good. So, did anybody do anything fun the past couple of days? Um,. Let's see. I, uh, what did we, what did I do that was fun? Oh, I got further on my book. I've been writing a couple of books and doing a few things, and I got a little further on those projects, and that was fun. Um, because I didn't think, I thought it was going to take me forever to get them done, but actually, they went pretty quickly, which was a good thing. Um, so that way, you know, I might meet my dead my own personal deadline. Oh, I probably shouldn't have taken that out. There we go. <laughs> um So, let's see. Trees. I think I might let's let's put let's switch out our pickaxe here. Um, we got a tree axe, but let's grab a shovel. I guess that would have went faster with a shovel than it would a, a loaf of bread. Alright, as soon as we see something change here, we're going to keep on going. Um, let's see. Oh, I hear the, I hear the floofs. It went zip. Well, I guess we could be thankful it's not raining since we can't have a roof. Boy, I can hear all these mobs, but thank goodness I can't. Which is really weird because I have this giant opening and I don't know. Maybe they're just too far away. Um, let's see. Well, oh, you played Spyro. I did too. I played Spyro on Friday. Um, it was really fun. I hadn't played that in a very, very long time, and I forgot a lot of the controls, and, you know, where a lot of the chests were, um, but I will tell you one thing. Those egg thieves, I thought maybe when they remastered it, you know, they would make the egg thieves just a slight bit easier to catch, but no, they left them just as difficult as ever, and so I was basically saying nope to that and just getting the gems and the dragons and, you know, completing the world that way. Um, but I didn't do too bad. You know, I thought I would do much, much worse, and I didn't. So I'm very happy and proud of myself. Um, okay. Do we think we can maybe chance it? I don't hear anything or see anything, but we'll get the yell sharpness knocked back. Okay, there's a zombie, but we can outrun him and a spider. Uh-oh. Yep. Okay. Well, let's put a torch because we're close. I don't, I don't know what we're close. Oh, wait, here's a jungle. Okay. Let's here. And honestly, I don't... I've not been this direction. Oh, nope. There's a creeper. We're going to run away from him. There's some more bamboo. Yeah, remember the streams where we couldn't find the bamboo? There's bamboo. 
Of course. <sighs> okay. And that is a large ravine, so we will take extra precautions <laughs> running around that. Put a torch here. Although all these caves that we have explored or seen are just, you know, well, we all know how we like to explore caves. Go spelunking, which is professional cave explorers, right? Okay, so I think we're still kind of, sort of, straight out from the house. Oh, excuse me there, Mr. Ocelot. Oh, okay, so we found a jungle. Has anybody seen a Badlands? Because <laughs> remember we were talking about, you know, looking for one, so I thought tonight would be a great way to end a Monday, right? And go to look for a Badlands. It was kind of a surprise, but I think we're kind of beyond surprises because if you want to know the honest truth, I think we're lost. Honestly. So, gather ourselves here. Good grief, now there's all kinds of bam. Well, at least we know if we need jungle wood. Right? Oh, that was easy. That was a little too easy. Oh, wait, I see water. I see water. Okay. Okay. So... No, I don't want to go up. Let's break that. Is this a lake? A river? A river. It kind of leads into... Alright, well... We're going to get stuck by the usual. There we are. Because that was an overhang. So... Oh! Oh! I almost... I think I stepped on that off a lot. Whoops. Okay, so... You know what? This is a pretty big jungle. Ooh! There... Yep. Tried to avoid the other water, and I landed in this one. Okay, so we have a miniature beach in the... So would this be a lake? Yeah. I mean, because it looks like I can run around like this. Okay, so now we're back to oak trees. And... Holler if anybody can see, like, a bad land. Wow. Wow, that's a... That's a tree right there. Wow. So if we ever need jungle wood... <laughs> That's it. Why is there seeds here? What? Well, nobody touched that. Does sand pop grass? There's some over there, too. Would you... Are you guys seeing this? Why is it popping on the... Okay. We're just going to act like we don't know what's happening there, and we're going to run the other direction just for a mu brief moment. Oh, nope, we're going to come back this way because there's a really... Yep, I drowned with a trident. So we're going to cross, and nobody saw anything. There was nothing there. At all. And this song that's playing now, I don't know if anybody can hear it. I turned down the music a little bit, but I can hear it. And... I call this the good nighty song because every time it plays that means it's getting close to time to go to bed. Even though it's like noon. Because, you know. But it's just really weird because it usually plays. Okay, so look over here. Okay, so we're hitting mountains. Like really odd shaped mountains. But I'm looking for... You know what? We're not putting down torches. <laughs> so I know to spam torches in a cave, but out here I just get so... Yep. Ooh, there's some nice... 
that count as a ravine or just a big giant hole? Nope, that's just a big giant hole. Okay, that just looks like one of those dir dirigibles. That's just a dir dirigible. Dirigible? Dirigible? I don't know how you pronounce I know how to spell it, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Dirigible. Dirigible. I don't know. Okay. Put a torch here. Nope, we're gonna go- we're down too low. That's just kinda- that's just a nope situation. Okay, we can't go that way. So we're gonna go this way and go up and around. Because we all know that that's just a hole that runs the risk of us falling into it and... Okay. So... Now the yellow is a savanna. Is that what it's called? A savanna? Or a... Um, yeah, it's like a savanna. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, there's some coal if we need it. You mean to tell me there's no... Okay, now that's just kind of cool. You know, the way that comes out of the, like that, and then there's... Oh, look at that brick wall over there. And if you look really close, like right there at that green thing, those are trees, but if you look at it this way, it looks like a giant creeper. Okay, moving on. Oh, that was a llama. I was like, that is a really... See, I, oh, llamas just look like sheep when they spawn. Ooh. Wow. Okay, I see a green moving thing and spider eyes. We're not going that way. We're going to go this way. We're just going to keep putting torches. Because at least over here there's water. Yeah, let's go this way and around. We're just going to avoid that large area. Um, we need stairs. These sheep seem to know where they're going. We'll just kind of follow them. Okay, maybe they don't. Yeah. <laughs> you led me astray. Uh, it's a bad joke. Okay, we made some stairs. Okay, now what do we got here in the distance? What is this? I mean... More rocks, and more random chickens. Um, and random jungle trees with oak trees. Hey, there's a desert! Is that, is that ready-made coarse dirt? It is! I didn't think coarse dirt naturally spawned. Well, I've been making it all this time and all I had to do was run to the... Well, okay. Some cactuses, right? Ooh, look at that jungle. We could... What are those? I've never seen fish like that before. Where do they go? Oh, tropical fish. So this must be a warmish lake. <gasps> Mud? Look at all these cute fish. Sorry, I'm going to drown. Wait, this isn't a jungle. <gasps> Guys, this isn't a jungle. Do you know what this is? Can anybody tell me what this is? I know what this is. Do you know what this is? This is something that we've never had before in this world. We've got tropical fish with it and a desert. Do we know what this is? This is a mangrove swamp. We better write these coordinates down, screenshot them, or get something. Wow. Because, oh my gosh. And I didn't bring my shears. Because I could have... Oh. And there's mud. I mean, we can make mud. Oh, man. See, this is why we need a chiseled bookcase. Because, you know, and we need buckets to catch all these tropical fish. Oh, there's a, 
There's a frog. There's a frog. Hi, Mr. Frog. Oh. Those are just as cute as the other stuff. And that one is great. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we found a frog. I am j I'm just speechless. I mean, our goal is to get to this desert. But look, there's a little house there. <gasps> Guys, if we didn't have the spot we have for our house and stuff we would most definitely <gasps> and lily pads oh i feel like a kid at christmas that just got the most awesomest present because i asked for it <gasps> clay you know this is where we'd be living right this would be i mean and the fact that it comes up on the right up on the is that a village or is that... Oh, we didn't bring our brush. Because that would... this. I think this is a well. It is. And it's got suspicious stuff. But we don't have the stuff for a brush. So that's okay. We just have to be careful though. Because it is going to night time. So... Here's some cactus. Um, I think it's a, an axe. Yes can get cactus with an axe because one we need green dot what is that that looks like a weird setup oh I guess it's just collapsed sand I don't know does anybody else think that that looks weird and we better get our sword out because it's getting nighttime but that just looks like a weird formation you know what I mean see how oh and we're gonna walk right into the middle of them They'll follow us. They'll get bored and come want to come visit. That's just weird. Okay. But we all know that, you know, sand falls, you know. Mom's going to give a piece of random advice here. Don't ever get soap in your eye. It burns. And then the more you wipe it, the worse it feels. So, you know, just don't get soap in your eye. And that was today's random piece of advice from a mama narwhal. Hey, look at that formation of sand. Yeah, at this point, I mean, it's a desert. You know, there's not much to see here other than cactus and other things. So, we're just going to get what we can. And we vaguely know the coordinates of homes kind of sort of <gasps> whoops but we need to, oh okay that's kind of sort of stairs but there's a lot of things seems like there's more mobs that spawn in the oh that's kind of pretty um you know what i mean that spawn in a desert maybe because there's less trees and stuff well that's a very dramatic music for no reason Oh, are we expecting something dramatic? That's... That's dramatic. Oh. Okay, we're gonna... Yep, yeah, you missed. We're gonna go right aim for that guy. And that guy... Well, okay. But I can't believe we found a mangrove swamp. Oh, I love it when we... Just quit that. Just stop. Just don't do that. You... Go aim at the other guy. He wants to be your friend. You know? Because... Oh, nope. We don't want this. Stop! Oh! You're a little guy. No. Nope. Quit it. Quit it. Don't make me die. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere and I don't want to die. I'm looking for something and I want to find it. Oh, nope, nope. Nope, that's a, that's a, that's a not a friend. That's not a friend either. So we got sand and more sand and more sand and we're now nause nauseated. Great. What an awesome adventure. You know what? We I think we've got enough books that we could make one of those chiseled bookcases and we're not putting torches down. <laughs> Again with the not putting torches down. 
Oh wait, nope, that's one, that's a little guy. Nope, we're just gonna take the hit and run away from him. Yeah, because I don't, I don't really want to mess with the little guys. They're just, they're annoying. We're gonna go this way. Is this more desert? And more mobs. Well, I guess as long as they stay away, I don't know. I mean, we got some cactus. Well, now this is happy adventure music, but this is not a happy adventure at the moment. Okay, so. Alright, well, let me... Oh, now if I touch that, that's going to fall. Um, we got to find somewhere to temporarily bury ourselves, because that little guy decided he was going to mess with my audio. So, I'm going to stop speaking for a minute, but we're going to bury ourselves, because, well, you know, danger. We got snow. There. Okay, are we reconnected to the world here? Uh-oh, I hear floofies, I hear growlings, I hear all kinds of stuff, so we ate... I, yeah, that's just way too much. What if we were to take that? Okay, well, they can't get to us, so... Well, we got some XP out of it. See, now I can see a little bit of the sky. Oh. Hey, we got ten cactus, found a mangrove swamp. Find whatever whatever that terracotta is. I think it's called a, a badlands. I don't know. But I think ten cactus, that's a lot, actually. I mean, we can collect it as we go back if we don't get killed. To collect more and then have us a nice little cactus farm because cactus could also help do security and give us green dye so i think you know a cactus farm has very useful uh, useful yes i hear you should we take one out this way well maybe yeah because i can't get in it feels weird you know like i'm stuck in a box without sides uh-huh Yep. I know you see me. Don't these guys look like accountants? Like certified public accountants that just went rogue? Tonight on Rogue CPAs, Stan does subtraction for the first time in 10 years. I'm sorry, that's just funny to me. Now there's no music, there's no grumbling, there's a spider, but there's no... Okay. Wait, was that grumbling? Nope. Maybe. Okay, I hear the spider. No, I think I hear still hear a zombie or something. I know that spider's my angry. Yeah? Anything changing? Nope. Still nighttime. Nope, there it goes. See it? It's turning. See how this guy's turning a light color? Okay, so now grumble away. Yep. Okay, so we were headed this way. And I'm be what's that? Weird dirt. It's probably just more like 
dirt. Wait, no, that's not dirt. There's no dirt texture. What would this? Be? Oh, guys, we found it. Okay. Surprise. We found it. Okay, this is what I was trying to surprise you guys with. And it looks like it's only two colors. I thought it was supposed to be more colors than that. So, surprise to me that it's only two colors. But hey, that's better than nothing, right? Isn't this cool? Okay, so we have brown here. Let's, let's, oh goodness, we don't need sand. Hold on. Let's, let's empty our pockets and yeet a few things here. We can go yeet and yeet. Okay. So, let's take, let's see, what color is this? Oh, that's just plain terracotta. Okay. Um, let's see, we can move our cactus up. This, uh, this has got to be red or orange. I'm, my guess is orange. Orange. Okay. Okay. Orange terracotta. Oh, I'm so excited. Found a mangrove. Now we get new wood. Wait, here's a dark color over here. I bet this is like, they probably labeled this purple or something. Um. Oh, that's brown terracotta. Okay. Okay, yeah, that works. Maybe since there's only the few colors, maybe you've got to dye the terracotta? You know, like, to get the red, or the yellows and the other colors? I, I maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's what happened and I, I don't know. Wait, there's... Is that a different color up there? Because that doesn't look... Orange. Oh! I bet that's red. That has to be red. Yes! Okay, so we have just a basic color palette. Okay, this is workable. This is workable. It's, it's you know... Brown, orange, terracotta, and red. I mean, they all kind of... Oh! <gasps> Wait a minute... This is, is that white? It is! Red, black, and white, yeah. And look, we found some yellow. <gasps> oh my goodness. So I guess the f like lower levels is just the basic colors, but the higher up you go, the more colors you have. I can live with that. Okay. Um, ooh, and it goes a little further, too. Wow. Ooh, that's a different... That's a different shade of something. Um, okay. We must be extra careful <laughs> because I just saw some dripstone blocks and they don't look very happy to see me. <laughs> I don't think I'd be happy to see them. Okay. So now we, everybody put their thinking caps on. Um, maybe share a brain cell or two with me. Oh, hey look, there's a ravine. And, what is that? That's a weird texture something. Oh no, it's just stone. From up there it looked weird. Um, I'm headed down here for this orangish st oh, stuff. Because it doesn't look like a terracotta. It looks... Like an orange peel. Um, hey, there's some diorite that's sticking out. This looks like sand? Maybe try the shovel? What is this? It Red sand? Dude, this just made everything so much more fun to build with. Ooh, I like it. And I saw, I think I saw dripstone 
maybe back up here? Maybe, no, it was just dirt and stone. But it did look like dripstone. I guess one could have hoped. Okay, so back to having our thinking caps on. What color could we use in the basement of the basement that would, oh, look nice? Oh, nope, we're not going to take that block out because that's a flooferman. I mean, this place is huge, right? I mean, my word, you could build a whole city here and still probably, yeah. Because now we have all these color choices, you know. But what would look good? Hmm. With the basement of the basement. I'm sorry, I'm thinking. I am literally like... What could we do here? Oh, and that falls like regular. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Colors. I mean, I think the yellow would be too bright. But maybe like regular terracotta color? You know? Or would that be too bright? Okay, nope, that's just... That looks pink, but I'm pretty sure that's the red. Yeah, that's just regular terracotta. The dark brown terracotta? Red, white, yellow, or the red sand? I'm thinking the brown terracotta. Because that would give like a smooth texture. Does it... <laughs> Look guys, a cave that's huge and familiar looking. <sighs> okay, but we're on we're on an adventure quest here. Not for caves. For the... Dark brown terracotta. Basically that strip up there. So there's not much. But notice I'm still heading for the cave. Oh, it's across the river, so. Ooh. That almost looks like a doorway, doesn't it? The way it's... Oh, that's granite. I was like, why does that look cool? But doesn't that look like a doorway? Like, yeah. Um, that's just plain terracotta. Looks like we're going to have to go back up pretty, not pretty far, but reasonably far. And just start, you know. Hmm. And once our pockets are full... Does anybody know, have a map on how to get home? Yeah, Shay, I'm thinking the brown. The dark brown. You know, because that could be an accent color. And then the terracotta color would be an accent color as well. Oh my gosh, we got so far to go to get back up there. jump to jump but I'm trying not to hit any not like not hit anything but not hit anything so you know we don't fill up our pockets and then waste it but it looks like I may have to make stairs <laughs> okay uh, that's okay that's okay we'll have stuff that we can figure out you know and if we don't die we can grab some of those mangrove that mangrove stuff right and grab some, make some new wood, maybe a few trees. I think that would be, that would be pretty freaking cool. Okay, so we go down. 
Okay, so now we can just jump over. Oh, we're close. We're really close. Yes, here we go. This is the color. That would be awesome. Now. Now we have to figure out. Can we make this into anything? Like stairs, slabs, you know. Um, or is it just that we get to work with just the block? Um, because I think it would be cool if we could turn it into something. I know they have glazed terracotta, right? And that's got designs on it, but I don't really want designs. You know, not, not in the basement of the basement, right? Because we want to make that look like we carved it out of actual stone and things like that, you know? Okay. And it's getting dark again. And I have a feeling that this biome spawns things like every other biome. Yep, because the moon's coming up. So... Maybe here in a minute. Let's take some of the dirt. And, yep. That's our cue to block ourselves in for a brief moment. And nothing can get in there. We'll put a torch so that... Oh, wait. <laughs> I almost... There we go. Nope. Here, let's grab this before they really come at us. There. But now we can still kind of see... All right. But now, while it's night, we can still work. And nothing can bite our toes. That's, that's the goal here. No toe biting. They're already coming at me. But we just have to be extra careful that we don't, like, you know, knock down our little safety door here. So we gotta leave one block between us and the outside world. And then during the day, we can take down that block. But let's put a torch. There we go. Because we do have a two-block thing where things will spawn. Okay. You know, when it jumps in my pocket, it doesn't really look, like, overly brown. You know what I mean? It looks almost pinkish, but maybe that's just the, the torchlight versus the daylight. You know? But yeah, this'll, this... Yeah, see how it looks pale? I guess maybe it is the torchlight, because see how it looked pale as we were taking it out? But it was closer to the a torch. Okay. So, remember how we said we were going to build, like, what looked like a tree kind of growing out of the wall in a spot, and the corners of the basement look like more roundish? You know, like, like that big cave that we have, those big cave openings. I kind of want to do that, and I think, honestly, this terracotta would help, you know, because it could be part of the tree trunks... Um, you know what I mean? Let's see, where are we with pocket space? Okay, well, we've got a little bit here. We've got two stacks, almost three stacks, but we're going to need a little bit more than that, you know? So, let's keep on going, and then we'll go check our daylight time here. But, uh, yeah, this was a, oh, well... You know what, sir? I hit the wrong thing. You stop. Just stop. I'm going to go back over here. <laughs> that was not where I in I intended to, to take keep cutting, but I forgot about that wall. I'm just so excited. Because now we can make really cool things. Even with the glazed terracotta. I mean, I don't like all the patterns... I probably shouldn't go this way, because that way is the dangerous stuff. If I go deeper into the mountain, there's less dangerous stuff. <laughs> okay. And for every pickaxe we break, we get an extra spot in our pocket. Here, let's break. Let's go ahead and finish breaking this one. Right? 
Yes, I. that's what you're going to get, zombie. You're just going to get to have to wait and growl at me later. Okay. There we go. I think we should probably put down another torch here. Oh, yes. It's a nice square room. And here we go. So it doesn't look to me like it mixes together. You know what I mean? Like you get a vein of diorite and a vein of granite and then it all mixes with the stone. This looks like it's literally a specific layer on top of a specific layer. You know, kind of like a painted desert in the western United States. Which is pretty cool because it makes, like, gathering it for resources pretty easy. You know? I mean, oh, I hear them rattling. That means they're on a mission. They're going on an adventure to come get me, but they can't. So, after this line, let's see where our friend the sun is. Um... And we've got some of each. Oh, it's still night. Okay. And we've got some of each to where we can, um, you know, try different glazes to see if we want to use any of them. I mean, I've seen most of them, you know, because you can look at them in the crafting bench or whatever. And I don't know if I like all of them. You know, some of them are just not my style. Um, but maybe we could do something unique with them. Um, I've been watching some other content creators, and they've kind of done like a glass, a stained glass window type tutorial thing, and I kind of like that. So if we ever build like a huge building or something, I think we could use it for that. You know, like a stained glass window or a wall mural type thing um, with a picture frame or something. Um, it's got to be getting close. I think it's getting close here. Let's see. Let's check our pockets. Oh my goodness, we are doing awesome. We are doing awesome. Should we, after this... Because we've got, how many stacks? Uh, one, two, we got five, about five and a fourth. Should we gather up some of these other colors as well? And maybe try that stained glass idea? Um, just to see what it, like, maybe what it looks like? Because you know, a, like a brokenish stained glass window in that tower or something like that with purple. That might be pretty freaking cool. Let's see. Regular terracotta. Which color do you think we should go after? Regular, white, or red? Um, I don't know. Red? Okay. Yeah, because that would be like a very scary... Because we could do red. A red stained glass window. Then put maybe purple stained glass over it. And give it that kind of goth feel to it. Huh. Well, let's grab some red. But for now, it is time for our walkabout. So while it is still nighttime and we are safely ensconced in our little whatever this is let's take our walk about and we'll meet back here in a few minutes and go grab some red terracotta and then see if we can't make our way home safely without any other issues all right we'll be back soon
Did everybody get up and stretch their legs and give their eyes a break and get a drink of water? Good. Glad to hear it. Welcome back. We're just going to take this piece out and have random floating blocks. Okay. And it is daytime. But you know what? We're going to leave our little safety cubby there. Okay. So that's orange. We need the red. So it looks like we may have to go up a little higher, right? There's, okay, I see some red up in a high elevation, but there's no red over here. But that's okay, because we can walk this direction. And eventually, in mama fashion, we will spam all this area with torches. <laughs> you know, so we can work through the night. Here's our red. Okay. So let's... Where, oh wait, I need a pickaxe. There we go. Okay. But we are going to take all these different colors home, right? We're going to learn the glazing process and see which ones we like. And if we like them all, we'll come back and get a bunch more, right? We do casual grindy things here. Okay. Oh, we're going to get some sticks, which we could use. That's awesome. Okay, so what do you think? Just, because if we get a stack, that would be that would be a pretty good size window or a couple little windows. Where are we at? 58, we're almost there. But I'm also thinking we should get some of the plain terracotta and maybe on the way back we could find some of those octo squid you know the things that give you black ink and see if we can maybe dye the plain black just out of curiosity right okay are we 64 okay well we've got plenty is this the plain i think this is the plain terracotta 24 Four. Let's see. There should be 27. Yes, it is. So let's get a stack of this. Right? Because I think we could also use this in certain areas, right? Ooh, you know what? We could use this as a mural or something in the basement of the basement. Remember how we were talking about filling in some of those holes, but making them a mural instead of just plain old, you know, we need a little bit more. Now, I am sitting here thinking, what are the coordinates of the house? I don't know. And we are pretty far from the house. Uh, three more. One, two, three. So, wait a minute. Now let's think about this. We saw the sand this way. Let's use a little bit of logic here. So we came from that way. Okay. Oh, uh, let me see. Yeah, because there's our stones that I thought was dripstone. So, we go back up. What is this one? Orange. Do we want to get a little more orange? And try to glaze or dye this one? Yeah, let's do that. Because we won't get a full stack. Because I can't see. Oh, wait, wait. Is that the desert? Let's use our eye spy real quick. Yes, I think that's the desert. Okay. So, we got some orange. What other color? Right, We got plenty of red. Regular, white, yellow, red sand. Um, ouch. 
Well, we could just practice it with what we have, because I don't see... Yes, this is our desert. Okay. Yep, this is it. So, let's grab a torch and put here, and a torch here. We'll just make, like, a little row of torches, you know, that maybe... Well, we can't see that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's some red sand. Well, on our way back to the desert, should I, let's grab some red sand. Since we're right here, it's not going to hurt anything. We already have a space in our pocket, right? There's some red. Yeah, let's just let's just use our shovels and grab some red. But we got to eat a snack first. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, shovel. Oh, so underneath the red sand is more terracotta. That's cool. That's cool. We could do that, you know. But I don't want to stand on ones that it collapse. Oh, my goodness, jump in our pocket. Because I'm wondering if we can do... Oh, of course it's nighttime. Thank you. Um, Do what we do with regular sand. Even though it's red, you know. Because I think we can do like car... Uh, Turn it into sandstone. Oh, that, see, I did that. You know what I mean? Sandstone. Carved sandstone. But I don't know. But we're going to try to get as much as we can before everything decides to come to life and come in. And there it is. We didn't get much. <laughs> um... We got 14 things of dirt, so let's, I guess, build our wall. Oh. Oh, yeah, we haven't slept either. So now we have the joy of those guys coming at us. Yeah, sure. Well, if I can't line it up, I can't. There we go. Okay, that'll help. Maybe, nope. Oh, come on. I'm Maybe I should put a block here. There. Okay, that's just in the wrong spot. Yeah, we're just going to keep building these little safety cubbies because, well, we're clumsy. There. Can we see the sky? Yes, we can see the sky. But nobody can get our feet. Okay. Well, we're nauseated because of Stan the Accountant. I'm telling you, those guys remind me of accountants. You know? Accountants gone bad because they're wearing the shirts. The khaki shirts and stuff. And if they just had a little pocket protector, you know, it would all be okay. Okay. Oh. Well, that's okay. If something comes there, we can get them there, too. But now even the... Yeah. So we gotta watch, though, if it's a skelly. Because they can... Skelly's aim at us. What is that? Oh, okay, that's a... What are the... What are they called? The zombies in the desert. A husk! Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're just... I just saw a bunny. I just saw a bunny, but behind that bunny was somebody that's not our friend. Okay, there's a zombie. They're okay. They don't bother us. They don't blow things up. So, while we're here, patiently waiting, um, we've got a variety of colors. And to make the glass though we need sand and then we need the right kind of dye so I think the next thing would be to get sand and not only are we in a terracotta thing we're also in a desert <laughs> so we can get oh yeah all right 
we're not here. There's there we're not here. Yep. Because we have nowhere to go and if that goes kablooey, <clears throat> we get back to the house very quickly. But the good news is that we have written down the coordinates so of both the mangrove swamp because I would like to try to get some propagules when the sun comes up because I think we may have a little bit of pocket space because of they're called the the seeds for the trees and we can make like mud to grow them on so I'm thinking that's what we do should we take a chance and look and see if that kablooey's gone no nope he's He's not gone, but he hissed at us. So, we're gonna just stay there. Maybe if we look out the other door. <laughs> look, see? He disappeared. <laughs> kind of, sort of, but not really. <laughs> Let's spot this door. Oh, it's just a... Sp oh, I lost the dirt. Uh-oh. Well, those make different noises. Oh, the XP's out there. Okay, no, it's it's zipping towards me. Okay. Okay, there it goes. It's going dingle. It's making that jingle noise. It's doing the jingle bell thing. Let me get that dirt. Nope. Nope. Ooh, now we got... Well, I don't know if we got two of them, but... Man. There it is. He just disappeared. We're... we're he's not there. We're going to pretend he's not there. Can we do that? I think we can do that gotta be decent okay nope see now <sighs> go faster <laughs> go much faster <sighs> well, that's okay now we got a new safety cubby you know and this is preventing us from dying which is an excellent excellent thing so even though people may think it's silly we're not dying <laughs> We're not, you know, unnecessary technical deaths have dropped to zero <laughs> unless we're confronted by a creeper. Okay, I hear a spider. I don't see one. I hear, I don't know. Okay, this creeper has left the area. There's the, There's a spider. Okay, the husk we can handle. I'm not worried about the husk. And he... Where'd he go? Well, okay. <laughs> Come on, daytime. Nope, I hear the spider, but they can't get in one block. They need to, uh, one block high, two blocks wide in order to get to you. And this is a one by one, so we're okay from spiders. The only thing right now that could really hurt us is a creeper. That's why I like these little safety areas, you know. And we can walk back and forth to check on mobs and things like that. And then block it up really quickly to break that, like, focus of the creeper onto us. But, I don't know. How do we glaze terracotta? Do we need the crafting bench and die? Or do we just put the terracotta in there and we just get the terracotta? I don't know. I mean, I have a crafting bench, but I... Oh, nope, nope, because the clouds are turning. They're turning. So... We can do this. And lose a piece of dirt. Okay, so the moon's going down. And everything should be... Like... Despawning. Well... There. Alright, so... Let's head back this way. And we'll gather up a little bit more 
Okay, I don't remember a village. Um, we did not pass a village. I know we didn't pass a village. Well... Come on. I guess we'll head for the village. Probably have to write down these coordinates too because I th think maybe we came in. Okay, we're going to run right into that cat. Oh. Makes sense. They would have access to terracotta. Guys. Do you see what I... Oh my gosh, guys. What an adventure. We have found a mangrove swamp. And a camel that's sitting down. Oh, this is, this is, this is it. This is, this is, yeah. But give me a moment. I think my audio just got so excited when it saw that camel. That I got to take a... Okay, we have temporarily subdued our excitement. Oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> we found a camel. Oh. <gasps> yes, kitty cat. Oh, hi. Well, let's, we can't really put anything in our pockets and I don't understand why that's just a random thing. Oh, it doesn't really, okay. Hi guys, I nice to meet you. I I still hear something growling. I okay, well let's go check out some of these houses. Yeah. I mean literally I hear a, a zombie growling for some reason. I don't understand it. Okay, let's see. If anything, we can come back and get the hay because, you know. Oh, maybe they're growling because of this cave. I'm not going to go in there because that sand was dripping like gravel. <laughs> not taking a chance. Okay. <gasps> Look, it's a pig snout. Look at this. It's a little pig snout sticking through the fence. <laughs> pig snout. Okay, that was exciting. I was going to say, do they not have chests? But they do. <gasps> Ooh, we could use the bread. And the cactus. So that's not a complete bust. Hmm. Just the one. Oh. Hi. I. Okay. What are you doing here? Oh, you're the butcher. Do you know where the baker and the candlestick maker is? I'm sorry, bad joke. Bad mama joke. Now I can't back out the door. There we go, I'm stuck. Is this the same weird building we went up a minute ago? No, it isn't. It's, well, yeah, it is. It's the other end of the door. <laughs> I'll shut your door, sir. Okay, went to that house. Usually I leave the doors open so I know which houses I've like looked for stuff in. We have one of those. <gasps> Ooh, what color is that? That looks like the bottom of a swimming pool. 
Although it's kind of odd that they have that in there with the stone cutter. Okay. Um, I think maybe we've explored all of the buildings here. Okay, so since I don't remember... I guess we run this way, and if we really get lost, we'll have to do an unnecessary technical death. Yeah, I don't remember there being water. Not like this. So... Maybe if we run back the other way... Like here? Because I... I really don't want to have to do an unnecessary technical death. Because I think that our... ...us being prepared. Um, is like negative 503... 70 something. So, I mean, we've got a, a ways to go. Let's see. And that, yeah. We're gonna just go, oh. Nope, I don't. <sighs> so glad there's stairs going down and around and up and everything else. We may have to collect sand closer to home. <laughs> because I think right now we just need to find home. This is where that lodestone would have come in so, so handy. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Is that that random well over there? Let's get out our I Spy. Yes! I remember that well. So, let's eat a snack. We'll eat a running snack here. And head for this well. Because on the other side of this well, we should have been able to see the mangrove swamp. And if we see the mangrove swamp, we're head. Wait, okay. There is the jungle. Hmm. Or, yeah, that, that would be the jungle. And I'm not running through anything that looks like a hole on the way through. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Parkour. Oh, ooh, that was a nice parkour claps in the chat for mama I did not fall okay no this is not the this is not the mangrove swamp this is an actual jungle but now the number the first number is going the wrong direction Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, nope, we don't want to drown just yet. Um. Huh. Okay, now it's going back down. I don't know. I do remember the well, though. I don't remember the coral. See, I go by landmarks. And when all the blocks look kind of sort of the same, I can't just say, look, that's a different tree, even though it's... You know what I mean? doesn't work like that in this game. Okay. I don't remember the water being this way. I don't remember... This... Um, I don't know why I just can't stay floating. Hmm. Um. Oh, guys! Oh! <gasps> I spy a shipwreck. Wow! That is awesome. Okay. 
So I definitely did not come this way. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. We're lost. Because it was a lake, not a ocean. Coral reef. Wait, wait, wait. I see trees over here. See them? Over th no, no. See, I'm taking my time and there's a guy with a trident. No, no. No, just stop. Well, I guess if we're going to get back to the house, I guess this is the unique way to do it. Run through with a trident. Okay. need to also write down the coordinates of this shipwreck or something close to it oh my gosh it's sundown and we haven't even <laughs> we're not even close to being home okay there's another savannah okay well i screenshotted it so we should be able to find it again yeah there's just a, a savannah not And there's more red sand. Yep, guys, I think we're officially lost. Because this direction is going up. And I don't really remember running through here, but... Wait, yeah... So I guess we'll just go this way and see what happens. Because it looks like we're just going to get attacked. So, yeah. But there's some flowers. And I know we did run through a biome, of like a flower biome. Well, I'm hearing arrows being slung my way. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember any of this at all. Oh my gosh, would you just... Okay, maybe the phantoms, because we haven't slept, will help us, us get home. Ooh, ooh. Because I don't even see my torches. Oh, stop throwing arrows at me. Yep, none of this looks familiar. I don't see any of my torches. I don't see anything. Huh. Wait. Nope, that's the wrong... Yep, that's the... <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought... I mean, there's no... There's no nothing that looks familiar. Does anything look familiar to anybody else? I mean, I have literally lost that mangrove swamp and everything else. My torches, which I didn't even put down very many, but you would think at some point that I would be able to see them. And we're... Uh, yes. And we're back to the desert. Okay. So, we went this way. Did we go this way? Oh my gosh. And we're back to the Badlands. We just went in a great big circle. We went in a big circle, guys. Oh! Well. Okay. I know that this is not the way home. It can't be. Hmm. Um, here. Maybe this way? <gasps> Wait, here's a well. Oh, there's two wells. I don't remember there being two wells. Yeah, because the well we found, we had a, we put a block of dirt up, right, to look inside. And this is not, this doesn't have a block of dirt. And this is not 
a watery thing or a mangrove. Okay. Well, now you get to see Mama Narwhal Pro Gamer. Right? Because I'm lost. And somehow... Oh, now it's raining. Okay, wait. Are those, no, I was like, are those torches? No, they're not torches, it's glow like, and I got excited for nothing. I haven't even seen this, like, cave. Yeah. I, that's a cave we've not even explored, or seen. So, yeah. Well, we're at negative 35, yeah. This is, I turned my coordinates on so I wouldn't get lost. Guess what? We're lost. Um, huh. Well, guys, we got a few options here. <laughs> and I'm sure we're all thinking about what those options are. <laughs> because I don't remember coming straight into the, the terracotta red sand stuff. Right? We, I just don't remember. Okay, well, I'm guessing at this point it's going to be a permanent night because the night has not ended. There we go. Now we're home. Now we're back home. But the night did not end. It never ended. I don't understand that. Oh, no. Hi, Robin. Yeah, it was an adventure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Um... Let's, let's go down here. Where do we want our tree to kind of grow? Like maybe in this corner? Just curiosity, you know what I mean? Um, let's swap this out. Maybe... Like this? Something like that, maybe? You know? And then we could, like, mix it up with different, um, I don't know, like a, not a jungle wood. Ooh, if we could find that mangrove swamp again, that would be really, a really pretty wood to have grow out. And yeah, we put it on a slab, but what we could do is put like a slab out here and then fill this with water and maybe take that out and fill it with a little bit of mud, you know? Um, but yeah, what do you think about a design like that? And then instead of having it go all the way up, have it start like arching out this way well okay yeah I picked the wrong tool so get mad just yeah okay <laughs> but like come out a little bit here and then down like that and then maybe take it like go back here take some of this out and make it look like the trunk kind of grew into the stone. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the chat. Uh, let me know what you think on my YouTube channel if you're catching the replay. But we had a heck of an adventure today. And I want to make a chiseled bookcase. Ye yes. I do we have the stuff to make it so let's go over here to our wood and let's put our terracotta in well let's put our brown terracotta in it right because we're going to do a little bit of I thought we had regular terracotta we have one piece oh wait nope we put the wrong thing in there there we go we have some red sand. Yeah. 
and red terracotta. Okay, so we got a little bit. But I want to make a chiseled bookcase because we need to start keeping track, right? Coordinates and things like that. So we grab all of our books just real quick and some wood, right? Our trusty wood. And let's uh, let's see if we can make a chiseled bookcase. Bookshelf. What do we need, though? Nope, that's a beehive. Chiseled bookshelf. Oh! So basically we just need six planks and three slabs. Okay. Well, we can do that. I thought we needed books like for a regular bookshelf, but we don't. How come we don't have any slabs? We have planks. Maybe if we go this way. Oh. Where are... Thank you, Shay. I left my one brain cell back there. I was so excited about the camel. Where are the slabs? We, wait, wait, wait. Blue, purple. Yeah, there we are. So we only need one. Okay, well, we just apparently are going to get six. Now let's go and see if we can find our chiseled bookshelves. Well, we can make barrels. Is it... Oh! chiseled bookshelf. Should we make two? Yeah, because we got a lot of adventures. Okay. Now, I think we should put them upstairs when our up upstairs, right? Like, literally up here. Yeah, they're going to get wet, but that's just temporary. So what if we put them, where would I put them? There we are. Right here. One, two. Now, let's see. Put a book in here. Book there. There. Oh. Is it all the same color? Like, nope. Is that one going to be blue? It is. Okay. Well, that works. But I want to put, like, extra books. You know what I mean? Fill them both up. Okay. So now, I think, to write in a book, don't we need a lectern? I don't know. We'll figure out that mechanic. But now we have 12 books that we can keep our adventures in. Okay. Whew. Man, what a stream. What? Just. That was a lot more. I was just going to try to find a. Badlands to surprise you guys with some terracotta, like we've been talking about, you know. And man, I was not expecting a camel and a village and you know all this other stuff. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, so now let's put our utility wood back and let's go see about glazing some of this terracotta. Um. Wood, no. I, I think... Honestly, I think we... Uh, should we try a furnace? Yeah. Let's try a regular furnace. Oh. I forgot we had stone. Okay. So, the white terracotta first. Actually, we only have one piece of that. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. 
I guess if I'd read my chat, because my chat is so smart, you know, they... Oh. Oh, this is the one that was in that... Um... Hut in the village. Yeah, this is the one that looks like a swimming pool. Uh, I mean, I guess if we were doing a happy build, we could use that. Okay. So, the next one is like maybe regular terracotta. Should we see what that does? No, I want to put that down. I always oh, I was like, what is that doing? We'll just use one. Um doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, maybe let's try yellow terracotta. Oh, okay, that one works. That one works. Um, oh. Well, this one's unique. Oh, it's like a a flower? Like part of a flower? Yeah. Huh. Okay, well, th and it's got a little bit of brown in it, so that might be kind of an interesting mural. Um, let's try the red. See what the red looks like. I am thoroughly curious here. One piece. But we need to see about the the other terracotta, the just regular terracotta. See what we can do. Maybe we can dye that and then glaze it. Oh, let's move this one. See if that one that does pop right down there. Oh, look at that. That one also kind of looks like a flower, like a rose. You know. I like that one. Do we have any sea? I don't think we have any purple. Hold on. Um, where's my dye? Ah, what makes purple? We don't have anything that makes purple. Okay, because I was thinking about if, because we, if we could have some purple glass, we could put it on top to see how it looked, you know? Okay, so red. Oh, wait, we did have some black dye. The, yeah, here. So, how would we dye terracotta? Uh, maybe it's under construction. Hmm. Carpet wool. Black terracotta. Oh. Okay. We did. Oh, okay. So we did eight. <laughs> well, that's not what I really wanted, but okay. So let's move this up and then let's see if we can, gl like, glaze it we could, that would be actually kind of cool. Oh, <gasps> guys, it's, okay. No, we're not going to watch it, because I want to see how cool it looks. We're just going to stand here and go do, 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 I think it's done. What'd it do? What, what did it do? It, it says black glazed. Oh, wow. I like that corner right there. That's kind of cool. I don't know what design that would... If you look at it this way, it looks like an angry ant. See? You got the two little pinchers there in the front, and then he's got, like, 
he's yelling and then see his eyes and his nose. It's like an angry ant. What do you think, Robin? Does it look like an angry ant? Let's all right, let's line them up here, right? Let's let's make some grown up decisions and we'll you know, we'll all pretend to be grown ups for the moment. Hmm. And then what's this? Regular terracotta. And then red and black terracotta. Alright. Is there such a thing as green terracotta? Because we got cactus. I don't know. Um, let's see what we can do with this sand. Can we turn the sand into something? Oh, well, it's okay. So it works in the furnace. What do you bet? It's just going to change it into regular glass. <laughs> that, that would be what happens. Because it's us. It's me. Yep, just regular old glass. Okay. Um, how do we dye glass? Well, we, wait, we have the black still in our pocket. Can we dye the glass, like, on the crafting table? We can? It doesn't look like it. Tinted. Oh, that's amethyst. Cyan. Green stained glass. Um, what do we got here? Black stained glass. I don't know. The black... Uh, I think if we used black stained glass, it would blend in too much to the black wall of the tower. You know what I mean? And then I think the the glazed terracotta wouldn't stick out as much. That's why I was thinking like a purple, because the purple would stick out, and then we, you know, be able to see oh. the black or the red behind it as an ominous brokenish stained glass mural or something. Okay. Um, let's see. So, magenta, purple. But what makes purple dye? Is dye under the nature? There we go, there we go. Purple dye is a red and a blue. Boy, this is a... Okay. It's cool in my head, but it's a lot of steps and work outside my head. Um, wow, so we need red and blue. And to make blue, we need cornflowers. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what we need. Well, these colors do not actually, like, they don't fit together. Um, I mean, this one and this one fit together, sort of, right? The, the ones with two little bits of yellow. And the red and this one fit together, sort of. But I think, honestly, we need to figure out, like, more glazed terracotta colors see what we see what options we have designs we have um yeah flowers or cactus or something um so i guess maybe tomorrow night we could attempt to find that flower biome again or another one and collect a bunch of flowers and just make dye and see what we get um because i think we've got enough regular terracotta in our pockets here. Hold on, i got to cover up my beautiful face. Because you guys just... Um... Yeah, we got regular terracotta that we can dye. And we got red terracotta. And then we got a few pieces of black. And if we want more black or red or something, we can probably just attempt to find that again. <laughs> um, which... Yeah, we wrote, I wrote down the, the coordinates, so we're good. 
Um, so, yeah. So, screenshot this, right? Kind of see what color palettes we could come up with between now and tomorrow. And, you know, I still like an ominous goth kind of thing for the tower. Because that's where we're going to design this at first, right? Um, and I just don't see, you know, perky yellow sunshine as, you know, very scary. So, you know, or if you come across one like you're, you're Googling to try to figure out color palettes and you come across one that's a different uh, dye or a different color, let me know on the replay. Let me know on my community tab on YouTube after you, of course, like, share, and subscribe and ring the little dingy dingy to, so you know when I go live, which I only do my parenting vlog live. My gaming streams are replays. Um, I wish I could do it a different way, but it is what it is. I'm live here on Twitch, Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. I play games, I'm silly, and I have fun. No stress, no worries. Yeah, we're a bit old lady-ish, but, you know, sometimes old school is the best school. So, yeah. Robin, I think he's going to put in his vote. And I'd like to hear from you guys. I also have a Discord that you guys could, you know, chat with me on. I try to be on there at least a couple of times a week. I might I pop in and check. Might take a day or two because, you know, IRL things go on. And this is just a fun little way for me to say, whoa, I'm an Arwal in the world. But until we meet again tomorrow, it's not a goodbye. It's never a goodbye. It's just an until we meet again. It's drink plenty of fluids, water, not pop. Pop's bad for you, says the mama. Take your vitamins, eat your vegetables, and get plenty of sleep. Try to find your peace. Take, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And until we see each other again. This is mama saying, have a great morning, a beautiful afternoon, and an awesome evening.